Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Ticket. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing five extremely useful tips and tricks for the Samsung Gallery application for your Samsung Galaxy smartphone. So let's dive in right away and start with tip number one. So I'm gonna launch my gallery application, which is gonna be right here. And I'm just gonna pull up a photo. Let's just pull up this one right here. This tip is extremely useful when you take a high resolution photo with your smartphone. So what I can do with this photo specifically is if I zoom in onto the photo, okay, let's say I want this portion as a wallpaper or something. I zoom into the photo. On the top, you're gonna see a little icon appear as I zoom in. When you don't zoom in, it does not appear. When I zoom in just a little bit, that icon appears on the top corner. When I click it, what happens is the phone automatically crops and saves that photo in the same folder that you're working in. So if I go back out here, now that photo is right here and this can easily become a wallpaper for my smartphone, okay? So you can do this with any photo. Just grab a photo, zoom into the portion that you want to crop and just quickly tap on that button. It just auto crops it. You'll see a little preview and just saves it right here. All right, so that's tip number one. Let's move on to tip number two. Two. Guys, check out one of my favorite apps, Blinkist, which also happens to be the sponsor of this video. So in today's age, we are all busy and it's hard to sit down and find some time to read popular books to satisfy our intellectual curiosity and our quest for knowledge. Now, what if there was an app that could let you digest a book in 15 minutes or less? Well, Blinkist can. They take thousands of nonfiction books and condense them into text or audio that you can get through within 15 minutes. You get all the core ideas and the essential information from that book and basically level up your overall knowledge and intelligence. Blinkist has books on technology, productivity, philosophy, the future, relationships, creativity, politics, and much more. There are thousands of books at your disposal. I just finished reading The Age of Cryptocurrency by Michael Casey because I was interested in learning more about Bitcoin and now I am better informed and all it took was 13 minutes. Now you can try Blinkist for free for seven days by clicking the link down below Blinkist.com slash tech and if you decide to subscribe, you will get 25% off their already low monthly price. So the links are down below. Go check it out. Now tip number two has to do with video. We're going to do the same thing with video recordings. So again, right over here, I have a video recording. That's a video. Now this one was taken, now this one was taken at 8K on this smartphone, but it also works with 4K video. So anytime you take a high resolution video with your phone, you can take that video and you can create as many photos you want out of that video. So let me play this video real quick. Okay, so it's right here. All you do, again, pause it. On the top, it's gonna show you a screen capture option. When I click it, it saves that particular frame into your phone as a high resolution photo. It does go to a different folder. So when I go back here and if I go all the way down in my albums, it's gonna be under video captures. So now I have a photo that I was able to extract out of that high resolution 8K video. Uh, look at that resolution, it's a high resolution photo. Looks absolutely fantastic. Again, this is great. If you make a video of your child, your pet, or anything, and you want high quality screen captures off of that video. So that is tip number two. Let's move on and talk about tip number three. All right, with tip number three, just grab any photo that you want or grab a bunch of multiple photos. Let's just do multiple photos. So you can see that all these photos here have to do with cars. I can select all these photos, okay? Then I can tap on more and I can add tags to identify these photos. So let's just tap on tag, okay? And I'm just gonna say cars, and then I'm gonna save. So now all these photos, the nine photos or 10 photos and one video here are now tagged with the keyword cars. So in the future, if I wanna look for images that only have cars in it, I simply go into my main screen or even on the top here, we have a search uh, button. I can tap on it. I can simply search the tag right from here 
or I can tap here and I can say cars and then I can tap on this one and it's going to bring up all the uh, photos that have that tag attached to it. So that's absolutely fantastic. Again, one more thing I'm going to show you guys. If you do have One UI 3.0, I can grab any one of these guys, pull it up just a little bit, and I do get the same option at the bottom. I can tap on plus and add a tag uh, right from here, okay? But normally if you have One UI 2.5 or earlier, uh, you can go back here, select the single image, just tap on that button and add a tag as you can see. Fantastic, let's move on to the next tactic. So let's say you want to actually hide a certain album in your galleries. Basically all you do is you tap on this button here and you tap on hide or unhide album. So let's say I want to hide the Instagram album right here. There's a bunch of photos there. I don't want other people to see. I simply tap on this one. I tap on hide or unhide and then I go over here and I select OK for the Instagram album. Now when I go back out here, it's not going to show up here. So anytime I want to actually see it, I can go back here, I can tap over here, and I can disable it to access the images in that particular album. It, it doesn't lock your stuff with a password, but it's an easy way to quickly hide albums that you don't want other people to see. Alright, so the next tactic has to do with adding stickers to your photo. So let me just again grab a photo. Okay, I can tap on edit right here and then at the bottom we have an option to add stickers uh, to my photos. I can grab this sticker for example, just put it anywhere, resize it any way that I want. Okay, put it right there and on top of that once you tap on add a sticker, you can scroll through all the available options here as you can see. You can add any one of these stickers, no problem. Look at that, okay, I can just add it right there and on top of that I can go all the way to the end, tap on plus and actually download more free or paid stickers based on your needs. So if I go up a little bit here, so over here we have the decoration uh, stickers that I can download for free. We got the party time. I can even go to the store from here and, and uh, browse even more stickers. So let's just grab decorations. Now when I go back, okay, it's actually going to show at the bottom here. You can see them right here. That's the new decoration stickers. Maybe not that one. It's going to be somewhere here. There we go. So these decoration stickers are the ones that I was able to download just now and you can add them anywhere on your screen. They're resizable, movable, rotatable, uh, however you want to uh, present that thing. Then you click save and you're done. Now that's the photo with the stickers. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you guys learned something really cool. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.